Welcome to Put a Word on It, a podcast presented by Men of Valor. In each episode, we're going to talk with a different man, but each one with a unique journey from brokenness to freedom. I'm your host, Rudy Kalis. I spent over 40 years as a TV sportscaster, then retired and joined the Men of Valor program as a volunteer. So join the conversation. Reconciling men to God, their families and society. Welcome to another edition of Put a Word on It, brought to you by Core Civic, and we are in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is the new home of Valor Way. This is a new facility for men of valor here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And the men that come in here are greeted to brand new rooms, brand new facilities, wonderful things. Brian Belzer is the re-entry manager. He's a native of Knoxville. This is almost like a dream come true, considering where his life was, how it got him to this point where he can invite men into this new home. Brian, this is going to be a thrill for you. This is like coming back to your home area, isn't it? It has been very thrilling, uh, over and above anything I really expected, Rudy. It's been exciting from the minute we first got over here. You know, your whole journey with Meta Valor has been pretty remarkable. Didn't you just walk in and say, hey, I'm going to work with you guys or what was that story uh so i came to a put a word on it class ironically enough and i just i had been looking into different prison ministries and men of valor kept coming up and kept coming up so i went to a put a word on it class and i had never been more sure that i was exactly where the lord wanted me to be in my entire life and i met with tevin afterwards um as a a volunteer coming new and told him, Hey, I, I'm going to work here, but until you know that you can hire me, just treat me like I do. So we laugh now and call it my internship. So for about a year until they were able to hire another staff member, I just worked probably 20, 25 hours a week teaching classes, driving guys around and just ministering, doing what we do. Why? It's what the Lord told me to do, Rudy. Well, you know, you've got the background where you can tell these guys, I've got the, I understand what you've been through. Is that a part of it? Is just taking what your own experiences and giving guys hope when they get out? Absolutely. So I would, this is probably won't be my word, but whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. And I knew when I got out of prison originally, God had called me to prison ministry. And I negotiated with him. And said, well, you know, I can serve you better, God, if I got this pool company and I'm making this money and doing all this. Well, the money went away and I found myself exactly right back where the Lord had delivered me from to start with. So when I got released from that, there was no question where I was going. It's like Jonah going to Nineveh. You're going to get there. It's just how the Lord, how you choose to let the Lord get you there. So I, I just volunteered. Sign me up. You're the uh, re-entry manager here, right? I am. All right. So guys coming to you, what's your role? How do you get them? How do you decide? What do you do? So this was our first expansion. So we've kind of had to wing it a little bit. But basically, we're just doing the same thing that Men of Valor has always done in Nashville. We have, we, we're able to hire two new prison ministers over here for East Tennessee. They're going into the prisons. We have D groups established everywhere in the three East Tennessee prisons plus Knox County every week. So we're getting to know the guys. You know, we do relational discipleship. We're getting to know the guys in our inside groups. They want to apply for aftercare when they get out. We go in and we interview them and they will be accepted or denied to aftercare based on some of the criteria that, that are requirements for getting in. When they come in here and they see this facility, they see these rooms from what they've come from, all right, but then you've got to also establish rules with them and uh, all of this is, is, is a new thing, right? It is. The way I explain it to them in orientation is we don't call them rules, we call them guidelines. And if you're at the front of a cave that you've never been into before, it's pitch black. You have no idea where you're going whatsoever. Somebody's already gone through there before you and put these guidelines in place. And if you'll stay in between these guidelines, you're going to come out the other side of that cave in spite of you because somebody laid the road out ahead of you. 
So that's how I try to explain it to them on some of the things we ask them to do, because most of our men have no idea what it looks like, where they're going or where they're headed, Rudy. So, do, you feel, do you feel a little sense of pressure? The community, okay, uh, you guys can come in, probably been pretty good with you, but you, man, you want to make sure that everybody takes care of business and does things right, don't you? Absolutely. We we have gotten a reception in Knoxville over and above anything we really expected. Why do you think? The need for our services here. Um, Knox County has, and this is an amazing statistic, but Knox County has the highest recidivism rate of any other county in the state of Tennessee. Uh, it's 74%. So they know that they need what we do. So they have embraced us all the way from the the mayor's offices, both the city and county mayor, the sheriff's department, we're partnered with them. Uh, there's a lot of nonprofit resources over here that we've been able to meet with and, and establish some relationships and partners with. So we feel like we're, uh, we're ready to serve our men. Does that add pressure to what you're doing? I wouldn't say pressure, but there's a lot of responsibility that comes with it. I've got a, a staff of five currently that, that I'm responsible for overseeing and taking care of them as well because this is hard work. And so I have to be mindful not only of the, the men we're serving, but of my staff that is serving the men to make sure that they don't get burned out or, or they're taking proper time off and because it, it'll eat you alive if you let it. In a way, do you feel like you're detached from the umbilical cord? I mean, your own help and home base is way over in Nashville, and we're out here in space having to do it on our own? Not really like you would expect. I mean, we've gotten so much support from Nashville. You know, AC and I were the two who came over here to – kind of lead the charge and get this kicked off. And I mean, anything we've needed, we've had the support and the network there to be able to to make it happen. So God continues to open doors as he always does for for our ministry and, and his people. And we've gotten to see a lot of that firsthand over the last 15, 16 months that we've been coming over here. You know, when we're very prayerful about the things we do, but we've made some decisions that wasn't evidently God's idea. So he's pivoted it, and and we've gone, okay, Lord, that's that's what it was supposed to look like. Yeah, and, but it took you around and all of a sudden sent you back to your home area. Can absolutely. you look back with the same determination you had that you said, I needed to be in this ministry. Can you see how all that led to your being here now at a different, more authoritative position? Absolutely. I say all the time, what we see as trials, God's using as training. So all the things that I went through since I left here, you know, I left Knoxville when I was 19 years old with a murder charge and through the jail system. And now to be back and just be helping, you know, our our part of our mission statement is teaching men to be givers rather than takers. Well, this has given me an opportunity to come back to my community and give something back where I took so much from it before. Are guys different that are getting out now? Are they tougher than they were when you got out, or is this mindset the same? I think it's about the same, really. It Prison has probably gotten worse condition-wise since I got out, but the mindset is the same. All of our guys have sat around for a different number of years thinking of all the things that they need to make right when they get out. So we encourage them, pump the brakes, slow down. All these things didn't happen overnight and you're not going to be able to fix them overnight. So, you know, trust the process, invest in your relationship during this year with the Lord and just watch where he's going to take you at the end of it if you just continue to submit and follow him. I think that's powerful stuff. Don't hit the ground running. Just ease up. Take your time with it. Well, you know, I, we've talked before, but it's put a word on it as our program. Uh, have you got a new one for me? I think I've, I gave it a lot of thought, and I think faithfulness 
is my word for this season right now. And our memory verse from last week was Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. And it says, The Lord's love and kindnesses indeed never cease, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And God's just been so faithful to provide everything that we need, both for the ministry and in our personal lives as well. I, I just, I'm very grateful that His mercies are new every morning and He's been so faithful to just continue to provide everything that we need, Rudy. That's a wonderful word. But you've been faithful too, my friend. Good for to you. To the best of my ability, which is lacking. No, <laughs> but, you're right where you need to be. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rudy. I enjoyed it. Good to see you again. I love Brian's word, faithfulness. Look how he's been faithful from the very first day when he walked in and he said, I'm going to be a part of this program. And now he's on staff and now faithfully he is here at the new facility in Knoxville as he invites men to come in, have their lives returned to them and give them something that is hopeful inside of them. Just wonderful, enjoyed being with them. Join us again next time as we put a word on it.